Alright, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hope you got your snacks and drinks. I got me a beverage here. I'm drinking a LaCroix. Yes, I'm one of those guys. It's delicious. It's actually a coffee flavor, uh, which is really weird, but it actually tastes pretty good. It's like the aftertaste of coffee. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, um, let's go and speak to... Or make your let's, with yeah, let's, let's interrogate. Greetings. What business have you? Do your worst. Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujets, and I must say he's a very interesting man. Wait. I should rumor this this is this is not important. Goodbye. Not important, not important. There we go. This is what we want. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> you need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you better think carefully Who's about how you answer them. Who's singing in the back? <laughs> what is that? Alright, let's threaten his ass. How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning, but there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Alright, um... Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. Okay, and what are you people after? What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas's allies. You. <laughs> How did you meet him? How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? They're lovers. They're lovers. All right. Um, who does he work for? Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Okay. We'll exchange you for the hostages. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? Yeah. I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Their boyfriend and boyfriend. Why do you care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. For a mm. while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Oh, just getting some fat stacks here doing all these well, missions. I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. 
It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Dibish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Dang. He's disciplined, you know? Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Yobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Yobst, you say? All right. Hmm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Yobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Hey. It's time. Family values. Quest completed. On oath, an oath is an oath. All right, so we should be ready for battle. Let me see if there's just like, yeah, we can kind of fix up anything. Okay. Maintenance went up, hell yeah. All right, I think we're ready. We're, our armor's a little dirty. It kind of, you know, wanted to charge in with style. But I don't think the bathhouse... I guess I could try to go to the bathhouse really quick. I don't think it's going to be open, but... We can try and just ride over there and see... Yeah. What's up. We'll just check out what's up. You know how it goes. Yeah. I doubt it's going to be open, though. But you never know. Uh, well. Still there. Hey, you know, business got to keep going, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Come on, please be there. Oh, no. Okay, they're actually not here. Dang, dude. Come on. Guess we can wash her up like this. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not going to... I'm not going to worry about it too much. The armor is in good condition. It's just dirty. Yeah. It would be funny, though, if they were still working at the bathhouse, you know? I mean, 
Why not, right? They could probably bathe, like, let the soldiers bathe there that are stationed here. They make some good money. Ow! What are you doing, you know? Sorry. All right, let's go. Let's go kill some people, huh? Where do we need to go? Oh, over here. Wait, where do we need to go? Oh, like way over here. <laughs> My bad. We wasting time. Yeah. All right, to Sir Divish. Oh man, this has been a fun playthrough, that's for sure. What is going on here? What are you guys sneaking on? They can see you. This guy's gotta feel like he's screwed though at this point, you know, especially after having this like sneaking army, right? You have a sneak attack that completely fails. He's gotta feel like there's no way he's gonna win this, but you never know. Divish. So Divish. Wait. Oh, I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. I'll be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I share your What? Intention. Come on. What, sorry, sorry. What is this, a Didn't trick? Tricking me? nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. That was That's a test. Like and you failed, you know? Then we'll bombard Talmud. Like I'm talking to my days. woman. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Good luck, sir. All right, talk to Sir Divish once ready. Fire the trebuchet. Yeah. All right, guys, it's battle time. It is battle time. This is gonna be fun, exciting. Yeah. Our journey has led us all the way to this point. Just gotta go fire this bad boy. Look at it. Look at it. Load the trebuchet. Load it up, boys. All right, let me <laughs> let me get the horse out of here. What are you doing? There's people walking here. Sorry. Load it up, boys. There you go. Load it up like it matters or something. Jeez, let's go. The authentic trebuchet. All this weight in there. That's so cool. This is a simple machine. You just gotta load it all the way back. A simple but yet deadly machine. Here we go. Shot's going to be loaded. Little basket there. Might watch out, bud. Look what I've got for you. Let's give him some food. Here, eat before battle. All right. We ready? God be with you. What training does he have? Uh, Take care. 
I think we're just <laughs> waiting for this guy. He's rolling up, rolling up a shot, even though it looks like there's a shot already in it. We're doing a double shot. There we go. Nice job. Look out! All right, here we go. Yeah, sing it. So I want to dedicate this shot to the Knights of Apollo. Let's go. Yeah! Yay! Knights of Apollo! Alright, let's talk to Sir Robard. Divish said... Sir Divish. <clears throat> Sir Divish said you tell me what happens next. I, we're going to watch Istrand shitting himself. That's all? For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. Goodbye. Okay, so they're going to bombard Townberg for a few days. So, you know what? I think it's, yeah, wait until the two-day bombardment is finished. So, guys, um, we can do other stuff. Now... There is a um, DLC quest. It's like a little side quest at the monastery. Remember, we were going to help out um, Yovanka or whatever her name is. Um, so we're going to go to Sasau and just see if we can do a little bit of that. Um, just, you know, a little bit of a cliffhanger here. So you guys uh, have to wait <clears throat> to, to the end of the story. Because uh, I think we do the DLC for J Yovanka. I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. We do the DLC for her. And then um, there's a Hans DLC. What, uh, but we have to beat the game to do that one. So I think if we do those two, we pretty much have done all the DLC. Except for a woman's lot. Which I am not going to play that DLC. It does not look fun. I don't really care to play as Teresa. So... You know, if you wanted to see it, you're going to have to go see someone else do it. Because, uh, yeah, I'm just not interested in that. All right. Didn't want to lose my head there. Yeah. All right. So let's get some food here. All right. Let's help you out. How are you getting on? Oh, better. A little, at least. There's less wounded than there was. Some got better. But there are more and more people in need of treatment. Someone gets kicked by a horse. Someone eats something bad. Another can't sleep or has the ague. Everyone's got a problem and it feels like I'm the only one in the whole world who's able to help them. And Matthias. He worries me most of all. Brother Nicodemus helped me to move him here after what happened in Merhoyed. But he's still lying in a fever. And nothing seems to help. I'm sorry to hear it. To be honest, you look all done in. I know. I'm constantly on my feet, and when I get a chance to rest for a while, I don't This woman's well. Wonder Woman here. I keep having peculiar dreams and waking up. I get up in the morning feeling like I haven't slept at all. All right, so let's ask about the peculiar dreams. What do you mean, peculiar dreams? The same one, over and over. In it, the... The Virgin Mary appears to me. Whoa! Virgin? Really? Really. She looks just like in the painting over the altar in Sassau Church. I always dream that I'm back in Scarlet's again. Like before. Before everything. I understand. I'm standing at the foot of the hill, with the castle behind me, by the walkway leading to the ore-washing tanks, near the woods. Uncle used to work there. I'm bringing him some food, going towards the pond. Then everything suddenly goes dark. I carry on uphill, along the stone channel, up to the mouth of a huge cave. I go inside, and the darkness surrounds me but I keep going 
and then I see sitting there in the dark. Who? Who do you see? The devil. He huh. scowls at me with these horrible eyes. Then everything becomes engulfed in flames, and Jesus. I try to flee from them. I run through the cave, but I can't find the way out. I can hear the devil behind me laughing horribly. Sounds like when a I can run no longer, dream. I stop, and the flames catch up with me, and then I die. Then I wake up, still feeling the heat of the flames, and I can't get back to sleep again. All I can do is kneel by my bed and pray until morning. Whoa. Well, yeah, what about the Virgin Mary? You said something about the Virgin Mary? Yes. She's always there with me until it goes dark. She goes to the cave with me, but she doesn't go inside. Huh. If they dream every night? And you have that same dream every night? Night after night. It started some time ago and it never ends. Hmm. Uh, have you told anybody about it? Have you told it? anyone about it? No. No one at all, except for you. I was afraid people would think I was losing my mind. Right. Well, it does sound a bit... Henry. You know, mad. Henry. I know. That's sad. Sometimes I think so myself. But then, when the dream keeps coming back, I think... I think it must mean something. Mm, you're right. That's no ordinary dream you're talking about. Exactly. I'm glad you don't think I'm mad. I was thinking, you know, that maybe I should go there, but the truth is, I'm afraid. And anyway, I can't leave here. So, I was wondering, since you're here, whether you wouldn't go there and have a look around for me. You're able to take care of yourself, after all. You've been in battle. Um, I wish his love interest was her, you know? All right. If it means you'll be able to sleep peacefully again. Kind of like okay. her the most out of all the women in the game. What exactly do you want me to do there? I don't know. Just go there and see if there's anything weird there. And then come and tell me. Of course. Take care of yourself, and I hope things get better with you and Matthias and everything. Thanks, Henry. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, so let's look exactly what we have to do here. That's the bombardment. So over here, find the cave. Oh my god, this is a huge plot of area. There's a cave right there, though. Let's uh, save that. That might be where we need to go. Um, before we do that, though, let's actually, um, we're going to go to, like, the tailor and stuff and f and clean up our, well, let's, let's go to the bath. That's where we need to go. Go to the bath and clean up our clothes again. So we will just fast travel over there and do that now. All right, guys. So we took our bath. We're all cleaned up. We got some clean armor. Uh, we're probably going to have to do it again before the uh, siege battle. So now we're going to travel to Scalitz and go explore the cave, which this might be it right here. Something we discovered while we were in that area in the, in the past. All right, guys, we're at Scalitz, but it's actually really late and I don't want to do this at night because it sounds scaly. So I'm going to actually just um, wait until morning. Well, actually, if we can find a bed really quick and just sleep here, because I think we've done this before. We just looked around for a bed. I think there's one in here, actually. Let's see. Let's put on the torch. Bed? Yeah, we'll, we'll find a bed somewhere around here. And, uh... That way we, we don't get too low on energy. Alright, here we go. Found a bed. We'll sleep and save. And look for this mysterious cave. Oh. Hmm. Early in the morning. Mutt's doing his uh, morning... Uh, I don't know. Routine of howling. Howling at the sun. And we are going to be free to go here. To go look for... 
this cave, which we did find one cave, but I'm not sure, you know, I wonder, let me look at the, uh, yeah, quest log, uh, infernal dream, find the cave, if you must find the cave, you have to start where Yovanka said, you must find the footbridge beneath Scalet's castle, that leads to the waterworks next to the woods. <coughs> ah. Well, this is a bridge here, right? There's a bridge here. It looks like it's like over here, actually. Right? Because... Well, let's just go to this cave and see what that cave's about. And if it's nothing, we'll try the other yeah. side. This is weird. This I don't know what to expect in this quest, you know. I've I've never seen anyone play it. I've never played it before, so it's pretty fun. You know? It's like playing it's like playing the game for the first time. Let's see if we can just Oh no. Can we find a road here that will take us. Alright, so here's a bridge. The footbridge to the pools. Oh. This looks like the place your anchor is great. What was it she said? I should go to the waterworks. Did it narrow down? The waterworks. Around here, right? Because it, it said a cave near the, the woods. Okay. Ah, this is where they wash the ore. According to what your hunker said, I should go uphill somewhere here. Uphill. Okay. So like up this way? A pond in the middle. Your hunker mentioned some stony water course. Now, there was a stream here that supplied those ponds. It must be nearby. Okay, stream. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. All right. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on here. We discovered a cave. Who is this? Knight's hunting sword, huh? Oh, Christ, poor wretch. No doubt he wanted to raise the alarm about the raid on Scalitz. But those bastards got him. Ah, those bastards. Alright, yeah, well, we're... This is it. I thought it was supposed to be a big cave. Oh, maybe it's bigger on the inside. Well, it's definitely... I'm getting kind of scared, guys. Like, is this, like, scary mode here or what? Um, what am I going to find in here? God, we can't even hear the rain anymore. We've gone deep into the mines of Scalets. Oh, there's Jesus no return. Christ stinks here. Uh-oh. I feel like there's something dead in here or something. Oh, God, have mercy on my soul. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Uh, Scalets Waffenrock. Maybe Sir Radzig sent someone here to check on things. That didn't turn out too well. How in Christ's name did they get here? A shaft leading to the surface. Hmm. Maybe someone threw those people down here. Jesus, dude. My God. Jesus Christ. He was only a boy. Do we keep going? I guess not. So it sounds like we have to now go above. He looks like he was well healed. Judging from what's left of him. Maybe a merchant who took a shortcut this way to avoid paying customs. Alright. Looks like a cumin, judging by the kaftan. Poetic justice. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we got to go above. 
This is, uh, this is creepy. Definitely creepy. Uh, get me out of here. I can hear the rain. Uh, just closes in on me, you know. Alright, let's go up above. Oh, it should be. Pond here. Should be up here. Oh, yeah, this is it. There's blood everywhere. Blood. A lot of it. And it's been here quite a while. Something's very fishy here. It looks like the blood leads to that hut. Uh, I guess I can put my torch away. That's odd. It looks like someone is living here. This is very fishy. Who's there? All those trespassers down below. What is this? Who goes there? I don't even care, you know? What is this? What? Scarlet's. Oh, God, are you doing here? I hid here when Scarlet's was raided. And now I'm keeping guard until his lordship returns. Oh, you belong to the Scarlet's garrison? Yeah. Are you blind or deaf? You thought there was no one here and you could come and loot the place, did you? Well, you thought wrong, you thieving magpie. And you'll answer to cold steel. But just a minute. I'm from Scarlet's and I know all the guards. I never saw you there. Then you can't be from Scarlet's or I'd remember your face. Oh? Tell me then. What's the name of the miller's daughter? Yitka. It's Teresa, you lying bastard. All right. You got me. I just wanted to hide out here. I figured no one would look for me after what happened. So who sent you here? You're in a rocket, Sam? On account of me killing his son? No. Hyman of Yihlava? He's had it in for me ever since I plundered his estate. Oh, well, I wasn't sent by any Hyman. Oh, fuck. This is serious. You're from that Lord Soko who I left in the shit and skipped with his band when the Bishop of Olomox was after him, yeah? I don't know any Lord Soko. Then who the fuck sent you? Spit it out before I cut you in half. Uh, Johanka sent me. What fucking Johanka? From Sasau. She had this vision, in a dream. What? I've been hiding for a month from hardened cutthroats, and you <laughs> found me here because some wench had a dream? Uh, yeah, basically. By Christ, you must be cursed. Hang on. Those corpses in the mine. That's your handiwork. Aye. They stumbled across me here, so I figured I'd better silence them, and I got a nice bit of loot out of some of them. You'll join them yourself soon enough, don't worry about that. And maybe I should go and find this your hunker of yours too. Yeah. Uh, to be purged. I think not, my good sir. Yo. I think not, good sir. Yeah, good, good fight. That's a sick ass shield. Devils, yeah. I'm taking that. Old family heirloom. Whoa. Let's see. What is this? He doesn't really have anything that great in terms of. Yeah, I'll take his key there. Look at this. Look at this uh, shield here. Where is it? A weapon? Devil. That's cool as hell. That is awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the shield. I don't even care. And let's see. Let's where is Family Heirloom? But it's a short sword, right? Yeah, I'm gonna use Yeah, I'm using his stuff. 
You know, I mean... Yeah, that's cool. And then we can repair it. So if we go to... Other and... And then go to the armor... No, wait, blacksmith. Ah, it's too damaged to repair. We'll go and take it somewhere to get repaired. Okay, is there anything else here? Ah, yes. Human ears. We'll take the groshin. I mean, this was fun. It was a simple little quest, but um, it was definitely fun. It doesn't really have anything good here god have mercy this is a small fortune fine clothing armor and weapons serious loot and a human faceplate helmet interesting it seems this all belonged to those poor wretches down below yep that's what it appears to be this horse is faster than mine can't carry as much courage is much higher it's actually a pretty good horse is it really stealing when it was this guy's? Open this. Oh, hey. Okay. Well. I think it's only right to do this. He will end up where his victims lie. Or his victims... Will meet him in the afterlife and torture him for the rest of his existence in the afterlife. I don't I don't really know what I'm talking about here, but we're gonna drop his body in the in the mine shaft. We're gonna drop it in there. I, I, I really see nothing more poetic than doing that. This is it, right? I don't think so. There's no blood. Oh, this is it over here. Alright, buddy. Uh-oh. Crap, we're stuck. Hold on. Let's get out of here first. Alright, let's pick you up again. Hold on. This is gonna be worth it, alright, guys? I, I swear. That's pretty cool. This is definitely a cool quest. Alright. Down you go. You jerk! <laughs> Alright. Alright, so now, um... We'll go back to, uh... Yovanka. Which I know I'm mispronouncing every time. But we're going back and we're gonna go talk to her. Uh, back home. Sort of. Back to Sasao. Yeah. To my true, this is my true love over here. Oh, where'd she go? She's like uh, over on this side. Yovank, uh, no. I think she's in here. Oh, she's praying. <laughs> oh. See, I found the place you dreamt of. I was of. in that cave that you dreamt about. Oh, tell me, what did you find there? Everything was just like you said. There was a cave, and inside it was hell itself. I've never seen anything so horrible in my life. And was... he there? Surely not. No. There was no devil there. There was a pile of dead bodies. Murdered. It wasn't a pretty sight, I can tell you. There was this fearsome warrior up above the shaft. He murdered a lot of people. Fearsome? He threw their bodies down the shaft to hide them. He went for me too. He fought like a demon, but I overcame him in the end. It wasn't that Red bad. Terror is over. Mary, mother of God. Thank you for going there, Henry. Uh, it was nothing. I'm glad I could help you. Anyway, all's well that ends well, right? I hope so. But... Look at that shield, you know dude. What? I had another dream. Oh, another dream. one. Another one. Yes, another one. The Virgin Mary appeared to me again. And I think 
I think she's trying to give me a message. She's trying to warn us. Warn us? Yes. It all makes sense, can't you see? That other dream about the cave, that was a test. Our lady was testing me, and now she wants... Now she wants to give me a message. But it was me who s went there? Doesn't make sense. What message? What message are you talking about? I'm not sure exactly what Our Lady wants to tell me, but I think I should... I should tell the people. All of them. I can't just keep this to myself. Mm, I don't know. It sounds a bit... presumptuous. No. No, it, it all makes sense. Careful there, the hey. The Mother of God heard my prayers. Careful. I prayed every evening that she would heal Matthias, and she answered my prayers. Was First, he healed? she tested me, and then, when I passed her test, she appeared to me again. Now I must do her will and pass on her message. And when I've done all she's asked of me, then she will heal Matthias. Um, okay. Well, when you put it like that, I can see some sense in it. Not that I know much about these things, but I had a strange dream too, not so long ago. It was after Runt nearly killed me in Scalitz. I was back there again, in the middle of all that slaughter. It was dark everywhere, and I was carrying the Sora Pa made for Sir Radzig. I had to fight my way through Cumans who looked like demons of hell. I found my parents. And then I woke up. You see? It must mean something. These things come to you for a reason. I suppose. But what do you want to do about it? I should... Well... Like I said... I should go on the town square and tell mm. everyone what Our Lady showed me in my dreams. Won't you come with me? No. I'd feel so much better I wouldn't if do you that. with me. I'm getting some Jonah Arc vibes here, and it didn't end well with her. Rely on me. I'll go oh with God. her just to protect you, her. Henry. Come first thing in the morning, and we'll go together. Or if you want, you can rest here. I'll take care of you, and wake you up when it's time to go. Thanks. I certainly could do with a rest. Goodbye. Good morning, Henry. All right, here we go. Let's go to the green. I'm really worried for her. My fear is that How's she's life here in Sasso. Oh. Much the same as tongue. in Scarlet's. That is before everything. It's quieter now. Most of the work has been done, and everyone is waiting to see what the harvest will be like. Then everyone will be on their feet from dawn to dusk. I pray it'll be a good harvest. So we have supplies for winter and enough to seed in spring. God's truth. A couple of bad harvests and we'd be in danger of famine. Well, let's hope it will be good. Every grain counts. Especially now, with all sorts of bandits roaming the country. And a great army, too. I hope Sir Radzik and Sir Hannes get it all sorted out before the harvest. If those marauders carry on, they'll plunder the whole province. And then where will we be? The best thing would be to hide the supplies, bury them underground so the bandits don't find them. But what if they threaten the villagers? Most people would be happier to give up their supplies than have their farms burnt down or their livestock herded off. The livestock can be hidden in the woods. Pa told me about it once. Maybe. But you can't hide a farmhouse or whole families. What if they take your children and threaten to cripple them or the farmers? You can't do much work in the fields with your arms broken. And in the winter, it's even worse. They might as well dig your grave. Sir Radzig would never allow that to happen, though. He'd come with his garrison. And those bastards who harassed his subjects would soon be hanging from the nearest tree. 
I'd be happier, though, if they all moved on and left us in peace. What if they don't move on, though? Then the only answer is cold steel. You men and your endless fighting. You love it. Don't act like you don't. So yeah, this is really interesting. I have no I idea the infirmary. how this is going to play out. More coin, at least. Unfortunately, not. But I just worry she's going to be burnt no to the stake, to dude. But that's still a long way off. Like Jonah Ark. I know. On St. Havel's Day, the payments come from the surrounding villages and the outlying farms. Some of them are supposed to pay in chickens, eggs, or other things. But a lot pay in Groshen. Then they might give us more. It's like, Joan of Arc, she claimed that an angel, you know, went to her and told her, you know, you need to fight. Since we're going to the market square, I could buy some meat at the butchers. And you buy that, often. that didn't bold well to her you captives. Have to every you can. That's true. But you wouldn't believe the things those monks think up. Because How's women... That? You know they're forbidden to eat red meat. Women can't it's talk sin. to like Saint Benedict forbidden. angels. It's only men or I something, something of that nature. Neither did I until recently. That's God, how far do we have the to go? Is, God. They have an exception to the rule. They can eat red meat if they're sick, so they recover faster. Then it's not a sin. So some of them are always coming along with all sorts of ailments, so they can lie around in the infirmary and eat meat. Of course, the monks have precedence, so I have to go to the butchers. And then, there's not enough money for other things. Well, well. You learn something new every day. I've even heard tell that there was a monk who tried to keep pigs in a pond at one time. Why on earth would he do that? To prove they're water creatures. The monks are allowed to eat water creatures, you see. Not only fish, but even beavers and the like. <laughs> That's good. I'd never come up with something like that. And how did it end up? I don't know. Maybe they drowned. That's good, though. I must remember that one. Huh. I didn't know that. Water creatures, huh? Tell me, how is it being in the service of Sir Radzig? I was surprised he took me into his service after I lost his sword, but it all made sense to me when I found out that actually... And come home soon. I'll pray for you so safe return. My father. As always. What? Thanks, Guto. Not yeah, to worry, I'll be fine. Really? I'll go then. But I still can't quite believe it myself best. either. I'm his son. His bastard son, that is. See, he and Ma. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, he left me to my father, my other father, Martin, to raise me, see? I see. I suppose. And. What does that mean for you now? I'm not quite sure myself. We'll see what happens. My word. That's quite a story. So now you're Sir Henry of Scarlet's. Ah, I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. But to you, I'll always be just plain Henry. Yeah. <laughs> I think they got a thing going on. I like it, you know? I'm glad you found your feet with Sir Radzig. With your father that you found your place in the world again and that yeah don't worry you'll surely find your place too eventually i hope so yeah i think so with me you by my by my side you know hmm? you and me listen when she visits you the virgin mary what does she look like like i said like that picture above the altar. She just appears in a kind of golden glow, in a blue cloak. And then? Then she beckons to me, and things start to appear. Pictures of all kinds. They look like the paintings in church, but moving, glowing with fire and lots of colours and this golden light. My, that's really something. It's quite the stroll here, guys, huh? Uh oh, what's going on here? Just random guards. How is Matthias doing? No change. He's lying in a fever and nothing helps. I'm really afraid for him. He'll get better. Don't you worry. He's a tough little bugger. What are no you guards doing, huh? What's going on here? Right. Actually, it does look like his fever is dropping a bit. 
But maybe that's just wishful thinking. Is that the square, or is that just like a Your building? Hunker, what are you actually going to do when we get to the market square? Actually, I haven't thought about it much. Be I careful. have to pass on the message from Our Lady to the people. So, mm. so I'll stand somewhere and tell them what I saw in my dream. Girl, like the I don't know. Creatures who are always wandering around the land. I see. And have you ever done anything like that? No. Are you sure you want to do this? Because they might see you as a witch. Virgin Mary, of course. Maybe. Henry. I'm a bit worried. I never spoke to people like that before. I've no idea what to say. They'll all laugh at me. Mm, you can do it. I'll advise you. Virgin Mary will guide you. Have no fear. You can do it. If you didn't have what it took... Our Lady wouldn't have chosen you, would she? I suppose you're right, but it's still hard for me. Think of Matthias. You want him to recover, don't you? Yes. If I don't let her down, she'll surely heal him for me. That's the spirit. Enough beating around the bush. Go and let him have it. All right. Here goes. God be with you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I just see the crowd getting mad and... The, <clears throat> the Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary came to me. In a dream. And she showed me things. Things I've never seen before. A great city. A great and... Beautiful city it was, great and beautiful, with many, many spires, tall spires, golden in the sunlight, and around the city was a mighty wall. All this she showed to me. Which the city no. was suddenly engulfed in flames. The earth began to shake and the gate burst open. Holes opened up in the ground and from them beasts of hell leapt forth. They broke down the walls and stormed the city through the broken gate. And the beasts hunted down all the sinners. They sank their fangs into their burning flesh and tore them to pieces mercilessly. And the sinners screamed and tried to flee them. But it was in vain. But then, Our Lady appeared. Mary, the Holy Mother of God. She covered the whole city in her cloak, smothered the flames, and drove out the beasts. The penitent sinners came out of the city, knelt before the Virgin in prayer, and thanked her for their salvation. That is the vision that came to me. And I believe this message was not meant for me alone. It was a warning to us all we are those sinners, and we must once again build those mighty walls. Not from stone or wood, but from virtue and love for our neighbor. And whoever has sinned and acted unrighteously must repent and change their ways. Witch! <laughs> Burn her! I don't know, I was expecting that or something. Suck that. That last doesn't hold back. Isn't she that last? That's true. That was better than any of Father Fabian's. Oh, they like it. They love it. 
Bianca, not now. Please. I need peace and quiet for a while. I must sit down. Please. It's very important. The way you spoke, it sounded so true. I even had a feeling the earth shook beneath my feet when you spoke. I have some trouble. And I, I didn't know who to go to until I heard you speak. Not now. Please. I, I can't. But you were just talking about helping your neighbor. Oh, all right. But quickly, I beg you. It's about my husband, Ambrose, the tailor. He's good to me. He's an honest tradesman and a skilled one. But he keeps playing dice. He sits at that table late into the night, and more than once he lost a small fortune. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't know how I could help. What's wrong with her? I want him to stop, but he won't listen to me. I'm at a loss what to do. What? Don't push I me around. Maybe if you were to go and have a word with him. Oh, all right. I'll come and see you when I have some time to spare. Thank you. Thank you kindly. All right, let's talk. My word, Johanka. That speech of yours on the square. I swear I never heard anything like it in my life. Let's talk about it later. Right now, I... Guta, the Sasau tailor's wife, came to talk to me, and she was quite desperate. Did you hear? Yes. Yes, I heard everything. So give her some advice, then. But I don't know what to tell her. Our lady didn't prepare me for anything like that. Your words made an impression. You're getting people all worked up. Oh, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Your words didn't fall on deaf ears. And now you can't let people down when they come to you. I... I suppose you're right. We ought to try and do something. We? Be quiet and think. We have to find a way. Jesus, you're really full of holy fire. Stop blaspheming and start thinking how we can get Ambrose to give up his dice playing. Have some sense in him. Win the shirt off his back. Well, I've always found a good punch in the mouth can do a lot to change a man's mind. Thanks for that contribution, but I don't think Guta <laughs> came to me because she wanted her husband crippled. Yeah, all right. It's what Fritz would do, though. And that's why I'm asking you and not Fritz. All right, win the shirt off his back. Mm. But supposing Ambrose were to lose enough to make him regret it. If he were to lose something really important, Mal was used to scold me by saying, one day you'll go too far and then you'll be sorry. That's it, Henry. Ambrose has to realize for himself how he's harming others, and most of all, his wife and himself. Thank you. Uh, glad to be of help. But I can't go anywhere. Never mind playing dice in taverns. I've too much work to do. But you could. Uh... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Henry. I don't know about Go that, guys. And sort it out with her. I have to go back now. Take care. Okay, I guess. All right. Well, I'm not very good at dice. So. Have the miraculous items on offer today. Yeah. We'll go talk to her, though, and see if we can, I don't know, see if we can help. Let's see, he's in here. Hey. Greetings. He she knows me. Your hanker sent me. She asked me to help you with your trouble. She did. That's wonderful. But she said she'd come herself. Well, she's up to her ears in work, and besides, we figured your husband wouldn't pay much attention to a woman, since he doesn't even listen to you. Oh! I'm afraid that's true. What now, though? Well, Johanka thought it would help if Ambrose saw how playing dice was no good either for himself or for you. Ha! <laughs> I've been telling him off about it for years to no avail. I even took his dice several times, but he always gets new ones. You won't get anywhere telling him off. Ambrose has to realize it for himself. If he lost everything he has to me, that would teach him a lesson. And then I talk to him man to man. Oh, God, no. 
I want him to stop playing, not to lose the roof over our heads. No, don't worry. Whatever I win from him, I'll give it back to you. But first, he really has to believe he's lost everything. Do you swear, by the Virgin Mary, to give everything back? Of course. I'm not going to make a sacred oath over such a worldly thing. My word should be enough. If you won't swear to give everything back, forget it. All right, if you insist. I swear I'll give back every last groschen, as the Virgin Mary is my witness. Very well, then. If you think it'll help, take him for everything he has. Uh, okay. Where can I find Ambrose? He's not here now. He's getting ready for a trip to Kutenberg on some business or other. No doubt you'll find him at the inn. Uh, you'd better hurry if you want to catch him. He said he wants to leave soon. Take care. All right, here we go. Okay, shop card. So we gotta quickly travel to the tavern. Yeah. And we gotta beat this guy in dice. And let's just hope that I got my A game going. Because I have yet to, uh... Hey, Yovanka, Yo hey. I've yet to really master the way of the dice. So, I'm gonna do my best and try to win. Must be inside. There he is. Well, well, Goodman Ambrose. Yes? Is there something I could do for you? I heard you were about to leave for Kuttenberg. Aye. Sir so Sebastian von Berg ordered new clothes, and he won't settle for anything but the best. I have to go and buy some fine linen, brocade, and other things. I'm taking 600 groschen to pay for it all. I'll make him the finest garments ever. Ah, I see. Well, Sir Sebastian's a man who doesn't like to be disappointed. True indeed. I'll be on my way just as soon as the horse is shod and the wagon hitched up. Yeah? I'm glad to see you. Let's have a drink together to pass the time while you're waiting, eh? On me. That's kind of you, lad. See you later. Okay. Good health. May it serve you. You look like a fellow who's been around. Tell me. What's going on in the countryside? Are the roads safe? Safer since we drove the bandits out of- yeah. Oh, it's safer in the province now. There was a pack of enemy cutthroats holed up in Pribislavitz, north of Talmberg. Pribislavitz. Mercenaries, bandits, cumans, and other rabble. But we attacked them and smashed them to pieces. So yes, the roads are safer now. My word. And who led the attack? Uh Sir Radzig Kobola, the royal hetman. Let's drink to Sir Radzig. Yes, to the bold Sir Radzig Kobola. And Captain Robard of Talmberg was there too, fighting bravely. We must drink to him too. To the brave Captain Robard. <laughs> this is fun. I ever did it a bit. So, you're going to Kuttenberg, eh? That's right. That's nice. I've never been there. What's it like? That's great, lad. Grand it is. Kuttenberg is a big town with strong walls. He's getting and drunk. More churches than you'd count on your fingers. Even the king himself has a palace there, and it's packed with people. When there's a fair, the whole town is on its feet. You've never seen the like. But the city elders are troubled now. Sigismund and his army are camped near the town, and nothing good can come of that.
The devil take that damn Sigismund. He's done damage enough here already. My word, lad. What's going to you? Oh. I'm from Scalis. Sigismund's army laid waste to the place. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have been awful. Awful hardly describes it. I tell you about it, but first I'd have to drink. A lot. Then let's drink. <laughs> uh, all right, well that worked out. I guess. <coughs> oh Jesus! Oh, that was a close thing. Oh, I better watch it. Oh, there was a band of brigands on the rampage in the province. They attacked the stud farm at Neuhof, killed Old Smill, the owner, and torched the stables. So it's true then. I heard some talk about it, but I thought it was exaggerated. Hmm. Maybe I should take an escort with me. Captain Bernard wasn't going to let that go. He rode out right away with his company to comb the countryside for those Horsons. Good. Let's drink to the success of his mission. Quite right. Let's drink to his valor. Mm. Careful, Henry. Tell you what, Ambrose. Let's drink to... to your wife. She wouldn't appreciate it much if she saw us now. I say we've had enough to drink. The wife would take the broom to me if she knew. What with an important trip ahead of me. Wait though, wait though. I have to tell you something about dice, right? You're unconscious. Oh no. What? Did we mess up? Is it because our drinking level's so low? Oh my god. Hopefully that's not the case. Let's see. Oh. Did we fail? Oh my god. Wait, don't we have a drink like hair of the dog or something? Let's go to food. Uh, oh, we did. Antidote? No. Maybe if we just have some water. Does that help at all? Drinking some water? Hmm. Alright, so where are we going? Oh my god. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, we go over here. I guess we have to like, earn his trust or something. It's kind of messed up. I mean, this guy's probably like really into me. Oh my God, this hangover is brutal. I think we play games with them now. Ambrose, what the hell happened yesterday? My head is pounding and my mouth feels like a charcoal kiln. I'm not surprised. After the way you were swilling yesterday, you blacked out for a while. Then you got your second wind and started up again. Holy. You were telling me about your Sir Hamish and what a rough sort he is. Then you announced it was late. And you had to go to Ratai and close the tavern or Sir Hannah would kick your arm. <laughs> you said you had to take a piss before going. You went outside and never came back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh... Alright. Hey, Ambrose. I have to tell you something. It was all supposed to be a bit different. Oh, uh, I, I figured you were making everything up. No, that's not what I mean. Listen, it was your wife who sent me to you. To get you to stop gambling, see? She's really fed up with it. But it's up to you. You should quit. For her sake, for your own sake. What? The pair of you were plotting against me? She doesn't understand. And neither do you! Whatever I lose, 
I'll win back later. I've got it all figured out. Those poor bastards in Kuttenberg won't know what's hit them when they see how old Ambrose rolls them dice. But Ambrose, listen. I don't want to hear another word about it from you or from Guta. Oh, shit. See you later. <laughs> oh, boy. That's not good. Oh, we failed, dude. We failed. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. All right, let's go talk to Yovan Yovanka. Here, Pebbles, help me, dude. Help me. Yeah. Dang, man. I think that's it, though. I think because because drinking is a skill in this game. And I think uh, our drinking skill was just... It was too low. Which, I mean, I don't know how I could have done that any better. God be with you, Hen. I went to see the tailor's wife, like you wanted. Oh. And how did it go? It looked promising to begin with, but then Ambrose dug his heels in and wouldn't listen to reason. That's a shame. But I'm sure you did everything you could. Maybe in time he'll come round. Thanks for trying, Henry. How are things going otherwise? You wouldn't believe what happened. One of the bathhouse wenches came to me. Oh? What does she want? She said she wanted to find a different job. Something more virtuous. She said she decided to change her life after listening to me on the square. Wow. See what you're capable of? Our lady didn't pick you for nothing. You help everyone around you. I think you're really great, Johanka. That's very sweet of you, Henry. Thank you. If only there were more like that, though. How do you mean? I mean, more people who want to find a better, more virtuous life. If only we could help them to do that. Hmm. I might know of someone. There's this prostitute in Ledechko. Adela, her name is. And how do you know her? I happened across her by chance when I was tracking the Neuhof raiders. Hmm. Don't look at me like that. She was mixed up with one of them and I had to question her. I wouldn't say she was particularly happy there either. That sounds promising, Henry. We should try and help her. Hmm. But how? I'm not sure, but maybe we could persuade her to give up what she's doing and find a different job. If she works at the baths, she'll surely have knowledge of some basic things. What basic things? Laundry? No. She'd know about healing wounds, health-giving decoctions, bloodletting and the like. And I could certainly use a second pair of hands here. There you go. You're right. I'll head off right now. If it's the will of the Blessed Virgin, it must be done. Henry, please try and convince her. I can find a place for her here. God be with you. Okay, so we'll just keep playing, guys. We gotta... Okay, so we have to get a prostitute. Okay, uh, hopefully we, <laughs> we pulled this one off because we did not do well in the last one. So we just gotta travel to the city here and try to convince her to... Help out Yovanka or whatever, Yohonka, Yohonka, Honka. All right, so we're in the city now. Uh, we've got a killer ha uh, hangover, I assume. That's why we're still just like waddling around. Uh, let's go to the bathhouse. Yeah, that's where we want to go. So the bathhouse is over here. And we're looking for, no, not you. All oh, right, I think it's her over here. I remember talking to her now. If you want to go inside, you'll have to wait until tomorrow. Sound of an argument. Whoa, what's going on in there? If you want to go inside, you'll have to wait until tomorrow. What did you say? I said you're an animal and I won't do that. You call me an animal? 
Is that any way to talk to a customer, you fucking whore? Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck are you doing here? Get out of here. Are you yanking my pizzle? I said get out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for Adela. For Adela? But I paid for that whore. Don't call her a whore. She fucks for money, you idiot. <laughs> She's a whore. Easy. Easy. Now fuck off, you piece of shit, before I break your arms for you. Come and try it, you piece of shit. Okay. <clears throat> you don't know who you're messing with, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, who's that? Get out of here. You've gone too far, young man. No, I haven't. You okay? Alright. What in God's name have you done? I I, I saved you. Oh my god. Henslin will kill me! If Marouche doesn't first. Marouche? Marouche? The proprietor. Everything will be all right. Henry, if it wasn't for the fact that you saved Hinnick, I'd slap your face. Leave this place. I'll help you. What? Why? What are you on about? I'll take you away from this hole. You don't have to live in this rat hole anymore. We'll leave together. Who gave you that idea? Johanka. What Johanka are you talking about, for God's sake? Uh-oh. She's from Scalitz, like me. Just an innocent girl. They all claim that. But she really is. How could you know that? Because... Because maybe the Virgin Mary speaks to her. What? The Blessed Virgin started visiting Johanka in her dreams. Visiting? Well, that's how Johanka put it. Like visitations in which she spoke to her. But why would the Virgin choose her to speak to? It was only on account of her that the wounded from Scalitz got to Sassau. Although they didn't have it easy there either. I heard they took them in at the monastery. Aye. But they didn't exactly bend over backwards to help them there. Johanka had to take care of them on her own. Most of them wouldn't have lived without her. Look, when I came to see her the first time, after Scalitz, she was destroyed. And they wanted to drive her out of the monastery. She could have just gone. But she didn't want to stop helping the others. But what's any of that got to do with me? It was Johanka who sent me to you. She had visions at night. And according to these visitations... She believes she has a duty to save sinners. And you believe in these visitations? I believe. Yes. I believe. I... I'd like to believe too. Well, why don't you try it then? How? Like I should just drop everything here, pack my things and go off to see someone I don't even know? Yes. Why not? It's madness. It's like... Starting all over from the beginning. Yes. And why did you become a... Because you're a sinner. You need to repent. A prostitute. Yeah. If you're expecting to hear some touching tale about a poor girl tossed around by fate, you'll be disappointed. I didn't want a husband and I needed money. So just for money? What do you think I do it for? Love? Have you got a problem with that? Yes. Well, yes. Money isn't everything, you know. So what else should I do, in your opinion? Repent. <laughs> you can just find yourself a different livelihood. Why? What's wrong with the one I have? Uh, you won't be able to do it forever. You're living in sin. You're an outcast. You're living in sin. You don't care that you're living in sin. So? Virtue won't put food on my table. And can you live with it? What do you mean? 
Are you able to respect yourself? I have my pride. Well, good for you. But don't you want something more? Something to make you really proud of yourself? Well, maybe. But what? Haven't you ever wanted to help others? I don't know if I could do that. Well, working at the baths, you must have learnt a bit about healing wounds and that, no? That's true. It's not just whoring, you know. I know. Exactly. But I still think I'm better off here. Uh, you won't be able to do this forever. Well, what about when you get older? Do you think the men will still come to you? That's true. Unfortunately. You can't go on like this forever. You could catch some nasty disease. What do you know about such things? I've seen plenty, believe me. Maybe too much. Oh, sorry. I, I try not to think too much about that. Well, maybe you should. The apothecary in Ratai could tell you a lot about the ailments people come to him with. <laughs> I'm still hey! not sure. Yes. <clears throat> but you're a pariah. No one will talk to you. What do I care about anyone else? Let them look out for themselves and I'll do the same. You won't always be able to manage on your own, whether you like it or not. So what? Not even Johanka can manage everything on her own. But I'm not Johanka. Yeah, I should have I'm picked that. still not sure. Haven't you ever thought of doing something different? Like what? Well, wouldn't you like to help the sick? That's a lot of work, isn't it? Yes, but you'd have nothing to be ashamed of. I suppose not. You know, you might be right. Yes, about come on. Some things. So you'll leave it? Save a soul. How? Where would I go? What would I live on? Wouldn't you like to help in the infirmary at Sasau Monastery? Would they let me? You're a yes. bathmaid who knows something about healing. They'd be glad to have you. But where will I live? There, of course. It's modest, but you'll have everything you need. I'm not used to much anyway. See then? I reckon you've nothing to worry about. All right. Will we go right away? We can go right now. Come on then. All right. I'll just say farewell to the girls and pack a few things. Mother of God, <laughs> I'm all in a flutter. To pack up and go, just like that. You're doing the right thing. You'll see. God be with you. Yay, we did it, guys. We saved her. Uh-oh, what's going on here? All right. Okay, hold on. Before we fight this, I, I like this shield and stuff. It looks cool, but I don't... It's not what I've been using. I'm just gonna go back to my um my normal weapon, which is Saint George's sword. I told you I well, there we go. Look what's I'll hang you up by the balls from the nearest tree, and then I'll get what I <laughs> the best from that arm. Okay. Okay. Gotta learn how to counter. You're dead. No, it's not who I wanted to lock on to, but... There we go, nice. We got a little hit on him. Come here, little liver. Alright, let's do some combos here, huh? I'll slaughter you! It's kind of hard when the multiple people... Oh, okay. That was rude. Don't hit my dog. Get one more. Yeah, you're dead, dude. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is that all you got? Oh, what? Thought we had him there. There we go. Another one's dead. You sure you want to fight? You just lost your brother there. Huh? It's like, dude, I, I, we got to fight this guy because my friend needs to get it. 
his thing. He needs to get his whore. Like, these guys are doing so much for his friend, you know? It's like, just whatever. Let her go. God. Yeah, dead. That's what you get. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Give me your sword. Yeah, you all right? Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. It's you they were after mostly. And are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, just a scratch or two. Those idiots didn't know who they were taking on. Good. The sooner we go, the better. I don't want to stay here any longer. Let's go then. Now yeah, let's just go. I'm sure they don't even have that good of stuff. Look at, we're like holding arms too. Just us two, making our way. Looks like that's gonna be the last. There's no more, um, no more enemies, thank God. To Sasao! Um, I wonder if this is the last part of this mission. It was pretty intense. Pretty, pretty intense. Here we are. Give it a while and you'll be happy here. Believe me. Oh, Henry. I'm starting to have a good feeling about this. Maybe I'll really find happiness here. I'm sure you will. Your hanker will take care of you. She's very good at that. You know, you're the first one to do something for me. Without expecting anything. And I don't have anything to give you. Well... If you want it. For one last time. Together. You don't have to thank me. And you certainly don't no. have to offer your body to anyone. Anyone at all. Oh. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Well, don't say it like that. I mean, you should be excited to have sex with me, you know? That's all, that's all I'm saying. But... Alright. I'm not need. God be with you, Henry. I went to Ledetsko, like you asked me. And? How did it turn out? You were right. It turned out well with Adela. I persuaded her to leave her... her trade and find a more virtuous job. She's here for you. That's great news. I promised yes. that you take care of her, and I brought her here. She'll help you take care of the sick and injured, like you wanted. You did a great job, Henry. Thank you. Of course I'll take care of her. We can't let her down now. And how are things going here? Hmm. Much the same as always. There are always wounded and sick people. I'm on my feet from morning till night. But Matthias is better. I'm glad about that. That's Where's good. Where's these troublemakers, though? Troublemakers? That's Aye. my speciality. While you were gone, some thugs came here and kicked around the gifts that people brought. What? Then they vanished before the guards got here. Oh? Who were they? I didn't see them at it. But there's some fellas hanging around now by the entrance to the monastery. Maybe that's them? And whenever I go into town, they take liberties with me. Take liberties how? Did they hurt you? Excuse no. me? They just make all sorts of offensive comments on account of me speaking on the square. And when someone comes to see me, they make trouble for them. So now, almost no one wants to come here. Maybe you could have a word with them? A word? I'll give them such a hiding, they'll be afraid to look twice at you again. Oh no, Henry. I'll be glad if you can get them to stop, but don't do anything bad to them. All right, I'll do what I can. But if they start anything, well, I won't be responsible. God be with you. All right, let's deal with these thugs here. What's that? Who yells at my girl over here? You know what I mean? Like, come on. Come on. So apparently they're somewhere over on this side. Somewhere in this area. Oh, here they are. Look at it. Look at the bunch of winners over here. That's for sure. Hey, winner. Brain is adult. Don't be taken in by her. Not oh. God be with you, my good man. Don't play games with me. Begging your pardon, but 
I haven't a clue what you mean. Get the hell out of here and leave your hanker and everyone else here in peace. Got it? Ah, we'd love to oblige, but we really don't feel like going anywhere. Sorry. All right, time to threaten them. Don't fuck with me. You leave. Yeah, there we go, Henry. Straighten out that crooked face of yours. All right, all right, easy now. No need to get upset. We're going. Satisfied? For now. That's what I like to hear. If you as much as look sideways at your hanker again. Sure, we get it. Well, that was an easy mission compared to the last. Don't fuck with me. That's 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 what I want to hear from Henry. After everything he's been through. The people he's killed, you know. Shadow Fox. Shadow Fax. Not Fox. Whatever. Alright. You're good. I dealt with those troublemakers. They won't be coming back in a hurry. Thanks, Henry. I thought they'd never go. You didn't say anything about it to the custodian, did you? Ah, he knows nothing about it. You don't think I need the help of Sir Sebastian to deal with a few thugs, do you? Good. I wouldn't want him to think I'm in distress. Oh? Why is that? Ah, nothing. It's not important. Listen, there's some merchant staying at the Wagoner's Inn who's been asking after me. Would you go with me to see him? I know those thugs are gone and it should be safe now, but... Of course I'll go. It's only a stone's throw after all. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Okay, thank God we don't have to walk there. Jeez. Pavelov Colin. I believe you were asking for me. Thank you for coming, Johanka. I hope you're not offended by this meeting place. I apologize, but I feel a little confused in your presence. It's your preaching. In truth, I don't know whether I'm speaking to you or the Virgin Mary. Quite the Madonna is our Johanka. All she's missing is an infant in her arms. And a blue cloak and a halo. No, no. I believe the Blessed Virgin speaks through me. That's all. Just like Henry's miraculous wit speaks through him. <laughs> what is it you wanted to see me about, Pavel? Divine Providence led me back to Sasau after many years, and by the same grace I heard the words you preached. And my eyes were opened. Just as the Blessed Virgin wanted. Are you troubled by some sin, Pavel? I've encountered many things in my life, but I never before heard a true prophetess speaking. And you're right. It came to me that it was time for me to make amends for my sin of long ago, and I decided to do some deed for the common good. You speak very eloquently, Pavel, though a bit mysteriously. I'm not sure I understand you. I notice you have an armed escort with you. Henry is my protector, helper, and good friend. Because not everyone We're lovers. in Sassel hears the words of the Virgin with the same piety as you. This may be yet another ray of divine providence. You see, I'm looking for someone with an adventurous but honest soul. Someone who would find some wealth that I lost and donate it all to the deserving in Sassel. Aha! Uh -huh. Henry here could be just the man you need. Is that so, Henry? Yes. You won't find a more adventurous soul in these parts. You speak boldly. That pleases me. Johanka, I'd like to thank you kindly for your visit. I don't wish to detain you any longer. If you feel we've said all that needs to be said, I'll leave you and Henry to discuss things alone. All right. So, what's Johanka the mission? Johanka is an exceptional person with an important mission, wouldn't you say? Well, I'm glad people see her that way. But I just try and help her as an ordinary friend who's concerned about her. A job like any other, is it? Anyway, what is it you want help with? It's like this. In the last year of Emperor Charles's reign, I came here to Sassau to close a profitable deal. But it didn't turn out entirely as planned. And I was obliged to hide some of my money in the woods near the town. Who would even imagine that in the ruins of an old settlement lies a real treasure trove? I tried to go and recover it myself, and I can be glad that I didn't pay for that attempt with my life, as you've probably noticed. Yeah, I've just noticed a few scratches on your face. 
A merciless battle with a squirrel, was it? The truth is even more absurd. I simply lost my footing and tumbled downhill. No doubt another divine sign that I ought to leave the search to someone such as yourself. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Your guardian angel must have had his work cut out, keeping you from running into Cuman patrol. Where is this treasure of yours, then? I could get the dog to sniff it out. I'll describe the way there. You can enter the woods between the quarry and the marshland. You can see the spot from here. There's a small stream that flows into the river. Following it upstream seems simple enough, but actually it took me a long time getting up that slope. As I already said, I tripped and rolled quite a way down, after which I considered it wiser to abandon my search. As if that weren't enough, I lost my hat there. Well, maybe it'll still be there. Unless it's been devoured by some boar with good taste in clothing. <laughs> hmm, who knows? If you should find it, you're welcome to have it. As you can see, I've already got a new one. Anyway, at the point where I fell, <laughs> there's a forest track that joins the stream. If you follow it closely, and you'll need to keep your eyes peeled... I get a hat! <laughs> ...come upon the ruins of a settlement, and in one of those ruins, the money is stashed. Right, quarry, stream, path, ruins. I should be able to remember that. And I should bring the treasure to you. Actually, I'd rather you made the donation for me. I'm in no shape for running around now. Just come back when you've found it, or not. Meanwhile, I'll give some thought to who we shall donate the money to. Agreed? Uh, agree. Well, how could I refuse a pleasant stroll in the countryside? I'll be happy to go and look for your stash. You are indeed an adventurous soul, Henry. As I recall... I hid there not only a large amount of groschen, but also something else. Nothing valuable, just a dagger which will be rusty by now. Please bring that to me too, as a memento. Good luck, Henry, and thank you. Okay. So we had to go find this treasure, which is this way. Didn't he say there was like a stream or something? Well, let's just uh, head over to that side. You know what, guys, though? We are way out of time. I, Dang it. I wanted to finish this DLC in this episode, but I think it's best we just uh, save it here and uh, finish this up tomorrow and it, or, or the next episode. And I think um, we should be able to finish the game here for sure. So we'll go ahead and sleep for an hour, save it, and we'll wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. This was a lot of fun. And it's all new to me. I've never done this. So, um, you know, I'm quite excited to see how this little DLC quest uh, ends. But this was, this was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you next time.